Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today's founder is Alexander Spotswood, a nephew-in-law of General George Washington. Now, Alexander Spotswood comes from as close to colonial royalty as you're going to find. His grandfather and namesake, also Alexander Spotswood, was a really important colonial governor of Virginia and is arguably the most important person in establishing Virginia to be the most powerful colony leading into the Revolutionary War. In fact, if you Google the name Alexander Spotswood, that's who you're going to find, but we're not talking about him. We're talking about his grandkid here, who came from this really important background in colonial Virginia, and as such, married a young woman named Elizabeth. Now, Elizabeth had been born to Augustine Washington, and when her father passed away, she moved into the house of her Uncle George. And yeah, Uncle George was the George Washington. So after the age of about 12 years old, Elizabeth grew up in Mount Vernon, of all places. That's why it makes sense for her to marry, uh, and her and Alexander to marry. Uh, as close to colonial royalties you're going to get, marrying as close to American royalty as you're going to get. Now, they do get married. And everything seems to be going well till the Revolutionary War starts. Now his uncle-in-law is commander-in-chief. Alexander Spotswood also joins the Continental Army. And he spends several years in the Army working his way up through the ranks and eventually becoming a colonel. The thing is, Spotswood had made a deal with his brother John that if one of them was killed serving in the war, the other one would resign from the Army and take care of both families. Now, after a battle, John seems to have passed away. And... Alexander did what he promised. He resigned his commission and went home and took care of both families for two years until word comes back, John didn't die. He was seriously wounded, but he survived and has been on a prison, pretty, a, a British prison ship for two years. Now, this is obviously great news. John comes back. Everyone's happy, and Alexander decides, I'm going to rejoin the Continental Army now that I can. Thing is, he had been passed over in rank in the two years he was absent, and therefore would be serving underneath people who he previously was above in rank. And at a time where people's honor was very important, and serving in the military, uh, your rank was tied to that honor, he could not, and no one would have expected him to, except the same position. Instead, he joins the Virginia Militia, where he's given a higher title of Brigadier General, and he spends the remainder of the war about a year, because it was pretty close to the end of the war at that point, but he spends the remainder of the war in this position. After which, he retires to his plantation. He keeps up a lively correspondence with his uncle-in-law. They talk a little bit about their families and a whole lot about their plantations. And uh, Alexander then... Um, that's essentially it. He lives a leisurely life as a wealthy Virginia planter, which of course means uh, having not only a lot of slaves under his uh, watch, but a wide variety of businesses being operated on the plantation itself. Now, real quick side note about Spotswood. When I first discovered him and was researching his story, uh, the first thing I learned was that in 1775, he sold Thomas Jefferson a horse. Now, the more interesting story is that of his family, but... Uh, he did sell Thomas Jefferson a horse, and the horse's name was The General. Always interesting when you name a horse The Something, but that's my opinion. That's not fact. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you learned a little bit about Alexander Spotswood and the Spotswood family today. If you did, hit like so more people can learn about the channel and therefore learn about American history. And if you're new here, hit subscribe. I put out videos about the American founders seven days a week. I'll be back with another founder for you tomorrow.